Hello and welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start tutorial. I'm Laura from TheBusyBeePost.com and in today's tutorial I will show you how to manage scheduled transactions. By scheduling your reoccurring transactions you can set the system up so that GNU Cash will automatically enter the transaction data for you. And I will also show you how to cancel a scheduled transaction if you need to. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe to show support for this channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. In this example, I have a web hosting account. Let's say for the sake of this example, I'm required to make payments on a daily basis. Now, regardless of whether you want to schedule reoccurring payments on a monthly, weekly, semi-weekly, daily or quarterly schedule the method will be the same the first transaction has to be entered into the system manually since this is a new transaction I'd like to set up reoccurring payments for I will begin by setting up a new transaction using the same method you would use to enter any other simple transaction into an account register I will begin by selecting the checking account register Here you can change the date if you need to by using the drop down arrow. In the num field you can enter any transaction number that applies to this transaction. Do note the only problem with entering a transaction number in the num field is that once the system begins to automatically enter the preceding payment transactions it's not going to enter the next number in numerical order if that's what you're expecting. If I were to enter 105 in the num field then each time the system enters a new payment transaction, it will simply enter the number 105 in the num field for each new scheduled payment transaction the system automatically creates. Because the system will only create a copy of the transaction as it was previously entered in the system. The only thing that will change is the date of each new scheduled transaction the system automatically enters for you. In the description field, enter your description. Here is where I will enter the name of the company I'm required to make payments to. The data you enter here in the description field will be used by the system as the title of the scheduled transaction when it displays information pertaining to this particular scheduled transaction. In the transfer field, I will assign this transaction to internet hosting fees. But since I don't have the account set up in expenses, I need to set up a new account for it. If you ever find yourself in this position where you start entering a transaction, just to find out you don't have the transfer account set up in the chart of accounts, you can set up a new account in the transfer field by entering the category name and then a colon and then the name of the sub account you want to set up. A dialog box will appear asking if you want to create the account. By selecting yes, it will open up the new account screen. Here on the new account screen is where you can edit the name if you like and you can enter a description. Here I see I forgot to put in the word fees. Since I can edit the account name here, I will enter it now. When you're finished, you can select OK. Selecting OK will take you back to the account register you were working on. The next thing you need to do is enter the amount of the payment. Here is where I will enter the amount I am expecting the hosting company to withdraw from my checking account on a daily basis, $10. Then I will select Enter and Save on the toolbar. Step 2 Scheduling the Transaction this next step you can use on any transaction you have newly entered or previously entered in the system. Now I can schedule the transaction while still here in the checking account ledger or I can schedule the transaction in the expense account ledger which is what I prefer to do by going directly to the expense account I want to schedule the transaction for. Regardless of whether I am scheduling the transaction while inside the checking account or the expense account register, the method will be the same.
right click directly on the transaction you want to schedule the payment for to bring up the shortcut menu and select schedule. When the make schedule transaction screen opens at the top is the title of the transaction which is taken from the description you entered. The frequency pane is used to tell GNU Cash the payment frequency and duration of the scheduled payment. You begin by selecting how often the payment needs to be entered in the system. By default, the frequency defaults to daily, which is what I'm using for this example. If you click on the drop down arrow, you can see the list of options you can select from, including monthly, quarterly, or semi weekly, and so forth. Start date is when the transaction entry will begin, which in this example, will be on the 16th, which is correct since I entered the first payment manually on the 15th of December, which would be considered the previous payment. And since it's scheduled for daily payment, the 16th of December is correct. If you want the reoccurring payment to begin on a different date, you can change the start date by entering the new date in the text box, or you can use the drop down arrow to bring up the calendar you can use to change the date. With the end duration, you have three choices. By default, never end is selected, meaning the payments will be ongoing with no plans to cancel it at any time in the near future. End date. Here you can enter an end date for when you are expected to make the last payment. By clicking on the end date icon, and entering the date in the date field text box or by clicking on the drop down arrow to bring up the calendar you can use to select the date. The last option you have here is number of occurrences. By selecting the number of occurrences option you can enter in the text box the number of payments you have left before the debit is paid in full. Since in this example the hosting fee payment is ongoing. I will leave the default never end selected. On the right hand side it shows four months in advance the scheduled transactions which are highlighted in blue. The advanced settings gives you the option of setting specific instructions about the way you want the scheduled transaction handled. To begin select the advanced tab. The first option enabled should be checked by default. It sets the status of the scheduled transaction as enabled, meaning it's good to go. Create automatically will enter the payment transaction into the checking account ledger without asking first. I will select that. Now since the system won't ask if it's okay to create the transaction and I have that option selected, I will select to be notified when the system has automatically entered the transaction. This way on the expected data entry due date a notification will pop up notifying me that the transaction has been created. The create in advance option is useful if you want the transaction to be created before the specified payment due date and in that case you can enter the amount of days in advance you want the transaction to be created by clicking on the create in advance icon and then the plus sign until you get to the desired number of days you want the system to create the payment transaction in advance. The remind in advance option sets how many days in advance a reminder is displayed. This option can be really useful for example if you have a transaction you pay by check you can set up a reminder to be notified about the upcoming payment due, say a week before by using the plus sign to enter the number of days you want to be reminded. Below you can leave the default settings as is. They are simply a recap of the options you selected on the first screen. You can select OK to finish up. Now I'm back on the account tree screen I like to select save to make sure everything has been recorded and set up as planned. Step 4. Reviewing the system generated transaction data. 
Here I am on the next day. If everything went as planned, you will notice as soon as you start GNU Cash on the day of the scheduled transaction, you should see the since last run notification as I have here. Meaning since the last time I ran the program, here's what happened. Under transaction, you have the title and the date the transaction was entered in the system. And the status of the transaction is listed as created. Now to view the transaction data, scroll down and click on the checkbox next to review created transactions and select OK. On the created transaction screen, I can see where the system automatically entered the new date and the description same way I entered it and I can see the expense account I assigned this transaction to internet hosting fees and below it shows the corresponding account involved in this transaction the checking account which is where the money is being withdrawn from and the amount ten dollars which is correct I don't know about you but I like this GNU Cash Schedule Transaction feature. Step 5 The Current Summary Now let's take a look at the summary of the scheduled transactions and the future planned scheduled transactions by selecting Actions on the menu bar and then Scheduled Transactions and then Scheduled Transaction Editor. Here you can see the name of the scheduled transaction and the frequency. Here it says for me daily and it displays the last occurrence meaning the last time the data was entered in the system the next occurrence is the date the system will automatically enter the next transaction if I scroll down to upcoming transactions here I can see a 12 month plan for when the scheduled transaction will be entered in the system highlighted in blue keep in mind my scheduled transaction is set for daily data entry. That's why you see so many highlighted. Step 6. Ending a scheduled transaction. Say for instance you wanted to end automatic data entry of a scheduled transaction. For whatever reasons, you want to stop data entry of recurring payments right now today. Begin by opening up the transaction account. In this example, I will open the internet hosting fees account. Inside the account, click on the last scheduled transaction entered by the system to bring up the shortcut menu and select schedule. And on the edit scheduled transaction window that opens, scroll down to occurrences. Here you will see the date the entry last occurred, meaning the most recent entry. Here I have the 16th, which is today's date. And now I want the 16th to be the last time the system enters the transaction. I will select until by clicking on the icon and leave the 16th date selected. Of course, if you wanted it to end on a different date, you would enter the date here. The whole idea is whatever date you select or enter in the text box is the date you want the system to enter the scheduled transaction for the last time. In my example, the system already entered the transaction on the 16th, so I'm letting the system know not to enter another payment on the 17th. When finished, select OK. Remember to save your changes. Now you know how to schedule and manage automatic data entry of reoccurring transactions in GNU Cash. In this example, I use an expense transaction as an example, but you can schedule any type of transaction you need to. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe and share.